Hey guys, how are you doing today? So I am back with another video. This is actually my second time recording this video because since I'm only allowed 15 minutes, um, the packaging, <laughs> I'm actually doing a little haul for you guys and uh, the packaging was so tight, I couldn't get my shit out, so I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna have to redo it again. And y'all know, guys know I'm having problems with my editing, so that really sucks. But anyways guys, um, if y'all follow me on Snapchat, Y'all know that I said there was gonna be a drunk call today. I just bought like a little bit of makeup and stuff like that. And some of the women wanted to know um, what foundation I use or like what makeup I use and stuff like that. But I don't wanna do get ready with me or how I do my makeup because I feel like I'm not a professional and I don't wanna look stupid. Obviously y'all know I don't give a fuck if I look stupid. But anyways, let's just get real quick to the stuff. So I already opened all this stuff already. I haven't used it yet. Um, so, let me just start off with this uh, concealer. The concealer I use right now, I use the um, MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC25, which I think is too white for me. But the lady, the lady over there didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. But I'm the type that I need to waste my stuff. So I still have a little bit in there. But I use it like no one's business because I have like really dark circles. So I bought this NYX HD Studio Photogenic. Okay. I need to buy a new lighting. If, if I were to show you my lighting, you would be like, what the fuck? It's just like a reading lamp that I got from somewhere. So anyways, here's a little thingy. I kind of like this. I swatched it earlier for my the first time I made the video. And it's like, look at that. That's like really thick. Let me see. Hold on. Just Sorry, guys. This is for me, okay? Just trying to see if it... I don't know. I'll let you guys know. If you follow, if you follow me on Snapchat, guys... Um, I always make videos in there, and my next video would be tomorrow I'm doing my makeup, and I'll show you how this goes. So there's there's this. I also use three beauty blenders, guys, for everything. So I have one for my foundation, I have one for my concealer, and I do have one for my contouring. This is an actual beauty blender. It's a little dirty, sorry. And these, I forgot the brand, but they're, they're like the little cheap brands. They fucking work, and they're like, I don't know, they just, I feel like they're better. Anyways, so that was the concealer that I bought. Um, I saw this girl on YouTube using the super skinny marker from um, NYX, but she had like the fat marker. I got the little thin one, but what I usually use is my, uh, come on, don't be a bitch, the Revlon uh, Color Stay Liquid Liner, which is really good. I mean, I like it, but I'm running out of this one, and I kind of wanted to see what the other one looked like. So this is the Revlon um, Liquid Eyeliner. And this one is going to be the Carbon Black Super Skinny. Okay, I'm gonna give it another chance. Uh, maybe, I mean, maybe I gotta shake it more or something, but the Revlon is obviously, Revlon is darker, to me anyway. And then the NYX is, I mean, it is good. I mean, what are you gonna do? My eyeliner always runs anyway, cause I don't know. But so anyways, that's that. I also, my first time, I'm a virgin, this is my first time using the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I always see it and I'm like, you know what, let me give it a try. But what I normally use is the Revlon, I mean Revlon, um, Rimmel, uh, oh I got my hair, the Rimmel Dark Brown. This is my favorite, I always use this. It's regular pencil, kind of big. Um, but let me see this. Ooh, it's thin. This is my first time, guys, so don't talk shit, okay? The, oh, that feels real good. I actually do my own brawls. They're not perfect. They're not twins. But whatever. So let's see what this looks like. Okay. What do you think? We'll see. Like I said, I'll do my makeup tomorrow, and I'm going to use the products that I have here today. So I got this. I hope I like it. I also got the Bare Mineral um, Glow Together Dimensional Powder Trio. The lighting sucks. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to go to Ikea and find me a O-ring lamp. I bought this one. I actually bought two of these. One is going to be for a gift, and then one is going to be for me. But anyway, so I got this. And I love it because of the... Look at the blush. So anyways, there's the blush, and it comes with the Gilded Glow, Rose Matte, and the Amber Glow. So the blush that I use right now, because I'm just too fucking lazy to go to MAC and deal with the ladies who have like fucking clown makeup, which is beautiful by the way, clown makeup, and they look at you like, 
And I went over the last time to get the Beauty Blender because it was my first time using the actual Beauty Blender brand. And I told the lady, I'm like, yeah, do you have any Beauty Blenders? And she's like, they're over there. And I was like, can you show me? You know, so she went to go show me. She was there right there. I was like, oh, and there was like a bunch. There was like the mini ones and a black one and this beige one. And I'm like, oh, which one do you recommend? And she's like, she went like that. And I'm like, you know what? Go over there. Go over there. And she made a face like, oops. Because, you know, I mean, you fucking work here. Really? Was I bothering your conversation with your coworker? She was being fucking rude. So, like I said, I really hate going. And it's not even a Mac store. It's called something. But they have like a little section of Mac and a little bit of section of whatever. So, I just use the L'Oreal... Uh, True Match C56, which I am not a big fan of because um, bitch, because it's like shimmery, and I don't have shimmer on my face right now, but that's by accident because I accidentally used this brush with my blush and my um, Mac. This is old, guys. Mac Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is actually this is oh, I love it. Hold on. I came. I, I think I bought this like pff, fucking three years ago. <laughs> Can you see that? Look at that. That's so pretty. Am I even putting it down? I just do this. And sometimes when I'm being lazy, like I don't want to wear like all the fucking like makeup, I'll just put my foundation, a little bit of this, and like a high bun with my glasses, and I always get looked at. But anyway, so for for my uh, this blush and stuff, I use a flawless face. I think this is bare minerals. This is old guys. Like the brush feels hard, but. I just really hate buying things and being disappointed. I get seriously, I get like really fucking frustrated. You don't believe me? Ask my husband, cause he knows. So, anyways, I also got the um, let me put this down real quick. I also got the bare mineral um, face powder foundation. You know what I mean? Like the bare mineral powder. You know the swirly, the swirly one you do. Well, anyways, it came in a box like this. I took it out already because this is my second video. The value is 66. It's 43, but. On base, I actually get it for $36.55, which is really good because it comes like this. It actually came with the bow, but I took it off. And I use the medium beige. I use I chinga. Fuck. It came out. That's not good. But I'm yeah, you should get oily. Let's see, hopefully it hopefully it doesn't come off white. I need to wash my I need to wash my brushes tonight so that way when I show you guys my makeup on Snapchat, it's fair, you know. I'm not gonna So anyways I use this. Um I like when I do when I go buy bare minerals, I like buying the big um packaging because you get your money's worth. And this is my other one, it's golden tan, it's dark, but I use it as my contour um powder. And for my contour powder, I also use, for the, shit, I really don't want to make this video again. It's already eight minutes. Oh, the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Makeup in, what color is this one? Shit, oh, 10 Caramel. Caramel or Caramel? Let me know in the bottom. It's really dark. And I just put dots and I, I mean, if you follow me on Snapchat, you see my makeup is flawless. It's just lighting, oil, and I, this is what I use. So for everything that I use, I use this. I have, basically I have blenders for everything. Foundation, concealer, and my blah, blah, blah. Um, what else did I get? Okay, this is my favorite part. Was that everything? I think that was everything. Oh, no, no, yeah, yes it was, yes it was. Was it? I think so. Um, okay, so I accidentally lost my um, aviator glasses. They're from Coach, and I lost them on the shuttle going to Frankfurt. Um, airport and they were on the shuttle so my husband called the guy and was like hey my wife left her glasses he's like oh whatever was left here i turned into the office call the office so my husband called the office and the office was like oh well if it's been here for so long we just donate it bitch you know how much those coach glasses were i know it's like coach but the glasses i got were really expensive and they were heavy and sturdy so i've been looking online and i um this box actually came in for me and I opened it because I didn't know what it was. It came to my door. Usually I get it sent to my um, P, uh, my PO box, whatever. And um, as soon as I opened it, it had this on it. And it says, if you can see it, it says Quay, Australia. It's not Quay, it's Key, Australia. And I saw, I seen these everywhere on, um, on um, Instagram. 
um, YouTube. So the ones that I got were Needing Fame. They actually came in a little packaging like this. And it came with a little dust bag. I'm not gonna show you the glasses yet. So the only thing I was afraid of is that they were going to be too big on my face because I see a lot of the girls wearing them. If they're Asian women or Pacific Islanders, whatever you want to call them, they have bigger faces, so it looked really good on them. But then I saw some girls with tiny faces like me, and I'm like, fuck, like, I hope it looks good. So this is what it comes in, the bag like this. And you just pop it. Pop it like a tap. Pop it like a tap. Oh, oh, oh. So here are the glasses. The ones I got are Needing Fame in black smoke. I think these are actually sold out, but here they are. This lighting doesn't give it any justice because my lighting sucks, but here it is. And this is like rubbery, like matte. Oh guys, these look so fucking sexy, but I'm afraid they're gonna be too big on me. So here they are. Be honest, please let me know the bottom what you think. Too big for my face? I think most men will be like, oh, too big, but women are like, yeah, I'm Spanish. What do you think? I kind of like these because for the days that I don't want to wear makeup, you could do like a really, really high bun and just go to town, get your groceries, go pick up your son from the school bus. See, so you get your brows on flick, you put that little shimmer on your brow, you put some chapstick and you just go, I'm here to pick up my son from school. What do you think? So anyways, guys, I really, really wanted these. Um, I don't know if they're big. We'll see. My husband always tells me the truth. But anyways, I really wanted these. I wanted to actually order three pairs, but I had a really bad experience um, ordering something online. Not only did I have bad experience, but basically I got scammed. I actually bought something from these people twice already, but... Yeah, that's, that's another story. Anyways, guys, if you like these little baby little hauls, let me know. The majority of my subscribers are actually men, and I have about this much subscribers that are women. But some of y'all women want to know how I do my makeup and stuff like that, which right now looks fucking greasy because I'm filming at night and there's no light outside, obviously. But that's basically the, new, the makeup that I use for mascara. I just use the Re uh, Revlon Ultra Volume. I use two. And then the Voluminous Original in black is black on lips uh, i'm not a big fan of stuff on my lips but if i do um i use the rimmel uh natural 30 and then again i love lip glosses i love how people look with it i just can't deal with the stickiness i always put it on my husband loves it my son thinks it's pretty but as soon as i put it on i'm just like i don't take it off um this is the l'oreal L'Oreal 601 Nude Ballet. I think next I'm gonna have to try that matte shit. The Kylie Jenner or the fucking Jeffree Star. Ah. <sighs> so what else was I was gonna say? I think that was it guys, but this was the most thing I was excited about. The Key, not Quay, Key Australia Needing Fame Sunglasses. You do not wear them up here high like a stupid. No. Bring them down. What do you think? Are they too big? Do I look stupid? Be honest, please. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Anyways, guys, you can follow me on Snapchat at Nessa G Baby. Baby with B A B Y Y Y Y. You can let me know how your day is going or whatever because I open all your Snapchats and I even reply to y'all guys. We become friends. Also, guys, if you have any video requests, let me know. Put them in the bottom so I can make the fucking videos. So, um, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna load this one up today. I know I said I was gonna do a QA. I'm actually doing a QA as soon as I upload this one. So again, leave all your comments or your questions because I do read them, I do answer them, and I even read the ugly ones when y'all motherfuckers are hating on me. I read those bitches. Anyways, guys, thank you for subscribing to me and always being here with me. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in about four days. I love you. Bye.